want to hear every single pulse, every single stroke that this absolute weapon has to offer. Jeez, that is quite some racket. Listen carefully, you might be able to hear Becky start up and enter the workshop. Now, due to Vecchi's size, most of the light that was coming in through the door has been blocked. But we need it inside so we can roll around on the floor because it is wet outside. I think the first thing I should do is show you what I've bought. This is a standard Iveco exhaust. It's so big, it's not in shot. There we go. So off the floor, me nailed down, that's taller than me. What I've replaced it with is that. Hmm. This was advertised as an extra quiet silencer, and I'm hoping it is, because it's uh, a fair bit smaller. That, oh, well that bit actually doesn't sound hollow. It's giving vibes of being hollow. This is giving vibes of being solid. So I'm hoping that this does the job, but I'm planning to have the tailpipe miles behind where I sit, so even if there is a lot of noise, hopefully it won't be under me, it'll be out the back, so, or out the side, and that'll be someone else's problem to deal with. I reckon we're going to save some weight here, look at that! Not just size. Right, so we are disappearing under the van, and now, in place of that hoofing great silencer, for which you can see how much space there was around it. We've got this one here, this stainless jobby, which is a fair bit smaller than the original one was. And there's the downpipe up there. <laughs> I can't get my hand up there. Um, yeah, so the, that clamp there that you can see is not actually clamping the... Um, it's not clamping anything together, that's just to hold it up, because that's where the original silencer finished. And uh, the clamp was on that, so that's how much shorter it is. And then moving back, we've got a straight length of 63 mil stainless going into a 90. This is only temporary, I'm gonna to have to trim this and decide how it finishes. But don't forget, normally the tailpipe ended about here somewhere. So it's going all the way to the back. And then, at the moment, it's pointing down onto that. But I mean, I could cut the straight section here, shorter, and fit the 45 so it comes out at 45, or just have it come straight out at 90, or do a bit of both. I mean, if you do that, then you've got a bit of a bit of both going on. Um, look at the rust I found as well while I'm down here. Joy. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, I think it's gonna work. I've got plenty of holes in the chassis here, which are deliberate, they're not, they're not Iveco holes, they're actual holes and uh, I can make some sort of mounting contraption there to give it a bit more beef there. I think I am going to cut this down, not have it go this far back because it's underneath the springs. And I don't know how much they're going to deflect. I don't think they're going to get close to it, but I think ideally it wants to end about... Well, I think the curve needs to be about where the, the joiner there starts, so it means it would end up about here somewhere. And I've got to choose how it comes out, whether it comes out uh, slash or whether it points down or whatever. So 
that's where we are at the moment. So it's all just rigged together. I'm going to knock it on the head for the night. I haven't got time to start prattling around with welders and things. But I thought it would be good to see how it sounds. Because, um, as you can see by the stain, I've tried this. And, well... See for yourself. Oh, look at that. That is some glow plug relay. Listen to that. That is a beast. So, wait for the glow plugs to go out. I have inadvertently created a monster. That sounds amazing! And that's just revving it on the spot. Imagine what it's going to be like under load. <laughs> and it's away from the it's, it, from the cabin. So if I get inside, I'm hoping, I haven't tried this yet. It's dark in here at the moment. I'm hoping it's not as boomy in here, you know? I'm going to call that a result. I'm going to call that a big result. It's not as boomy. This is one modification that has gone well. Um, it does nullify the pain I was feeling um, where I found out that uh, just after I'd ordered £150 worth of stainless exhaust parts for a van that's worth 3p, and a genuine new old stock Iveco silencer, like for like fit, uh, showed up on eBay for £10. Collection only, but not, I mean, for £10, worth it. Uh, yeah. So that was, it still had stickers on and everything. So that was, I was a little bit miffed when I saw that. Um, now I'm not. Now I've started that, I'm excited and I'm going to weld this up tomorrow. I'm very excited, <laughs> stupidly excited. I'm not so excited about the panels. Um, I've ordered some metal for it. Um, I've ordered some steps for the front doors. Um, the back here, I haven't. Because if you were to order, if you can see them, this panel here, a repair panel that sort of does that, on both sides, you can buy them for uh, 40, 50 quid, something like that, for a pair of them. Free postage. The front ones here, about £41 for a pair. Brilliant. Preformed repair panels. And 50 quid postage. And I messaged them today and said... Is that an error? Because you're doing the other two, free postage, this one, 50. And they said, yeah, no, because it's bigger. Okay, so even if it was a foot longer, 50 quid. The box is like 30 centimetres longer. 50 quid. The weight's... Ugh. So I might be making these. Um, right, so it's the next day. The weather's rubbish, so I've had to back the van in. What have I done today? Um, I backed the van in, and um, I've got something in my eye. I've taken this much out of the length that came out of the silencer. So it's going downpipe silencer, which is somewhere underneath the driver. And then there was a 1500 mil length that came out the back of it. Well, I've chopped 350 mil off to allow the exhaust to uh, turn and exit before the back wheel. Because in its configuration that it was in last night, it was exiting against the back wheel. I mean, it wasn't really close, and there was, there was an element of me like the idea of going through a puddle and it splashing water onto the exhaust and steam coming off it. I thought that would look really cool. But uh, then I thought, no, that would be silly. That would be as silly as putting a small silencer onto an old Iveco van and spending lots of time welding it while the bodywork is falling to pieces like that. So, yeah. So at the moment, this is surplus. I may need it again, but I don't think I will. Because I've also found this. See? Doesn't look anything special, does it? That is a tailpipe from a TVR Griffith. Persuaded it to leave its home with an old TVR exhaust, and that will sit as part of Becky's uh, tailpipe arrangement. Just started to rain.
fantastic. The bit at the front I need to weld is outside. That great. Um, but yeah. Ooh. Tack that in place, tack that in place, get everything tacked and then take it all off again and then weld it on the floor using some kind of uh, specific jig to keep it all in place and stop it moving around. And then yeah, chuck it back on. Uh, oh, I've come up with a hanging mechanism at the back here. I mean, tonight all I'll be doing is tacking it in place and then I'll probably leave it on and go home and then fully weld it tomorrow because uh, I ain't got time. So through a series of bends and twists and kinks and turns and all sorts, um, Vecchi's TVR Griffith tailpipe, which is now an Iveco daily tailpipe, is gonna sit, all things, my measurements being correct, there, like that. 45 degree slash cut stainless tailpipe should give a nice black stain over here. That's the plan. I mean, I don't know if that is the plan, but that's probably what will happen. Basically, it's gonna sit there like that. So it's got enough of a kink in the exhaust so that water won't fall down here. And I can rotate it very slightly just to make sure that it doesn't. So it's not actually fully flush, but yeah, just to, what I don't want is it to be upturned so that it, rainwater goes down it. It's not bazooko or whatever it is. Boost bazooko? Bazooka, no, bazooka, that's a, that's a weapon. That stupid thing in Japan, where they have the exhaust like that. Uh, I had originally planned to take the camera off the tripod and put it under the van so you could see the welding. I was gonna try something like that, uh, but I can't because the camera is now stuck in the tripod. Because the little thing to release it has broken off. So this is going very well. Uh, yeah, so I'll, you'll have to just do it there. Um, you'll just see some sparks. But basically I'm gonna tack it all in place um, so that I can see where the tailpipe should sit. And then, uh, ooh, oh my god. Ah! Oh dear. You, like, meanwhile, you're screaming, stop doing it. And it's like, I can't, I just can't. It's so satisfying. But at the same time, it's just, oh dear. Yeah. See how much good metal is left. Oh dear. Oh god. None. Dear, oh dear. Wow, that is something. I'm supposed to be doing an exhaust and I've just. I haven't got a wheel arch anymore. There's filler in that. There was a lot of filler in this arch. It, this is all filler here. That is actually a wasted space. Everything up to here, that's just an empty void. You could at least have a little hatch or something. Anyway, I should stop doing that. When I've got more time, I'll do a sort of a little thing about what I know about welding, which to be fair, people will probably tear apart. Because welding is one of those things where you will get opinions from people about it, regardless of whether you ask for them or not. Everyone's an expert. Even people who've never done it before are experts. It's funny, isn't it? Have you ever a corroded welder? Well, no, because I don't weld submarines underwater. Here we go. Right, so. That's that bit. I'm not going to do the tailpipe just yet. clear of the body. Ow! So that's just tacked. Will that then give me the finishing position I require? Yeah, I think so. Give it a little bit more of the sparkly stick. To get that perfect, I can just I can just rotate it. You see, 
I could even have it pointing down like that. If I wanted to be thoughtful towards people, but I'm not. I want to look like a dragster. I want to hear every single pulse, every single stroke that this absolute weapon has to offer. Right, well, it's, uh, it's starting to look a little bit scrappy challenge here, but then it's Vecchi, so that's a given. But uh, basically, the tailpipe's passing underneath the chassis here. So the chassis's going back and forward across the, well, not back and forward, it's going front to back on the van, and the exhaust is passing underneath it. There are some holes pre-drilled in the chassis, I don't know what for, but that exhaust mount, which I found in a drawer, fits through one of them, so this is good. So that will screw into the chassis, and that means I've got an exhaust passing underneath it. What am I gonna do? Here's my plan. I have an exhaust clamp. I have a piece of scrap. Right, so if you imagine this is the tailpipe coming out under Vecchi. The uh, chassis is running back and forward across. I'm gonna weld this piece of scrap metal. I'm assuming I can weld it, because it, I don't actually know what it's made of, but. So it'll be on the uh, clamp like that. With that on the chassis, that will pass onto the rubber like so, like this. The beauty of it being on a circular plane is that with these bolts loose and this loose, I'll be able to adjust the angle. Very clever. And not at all accidental. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll tack that onto that and then I'll cut off the surplus on the back of it that I don't need, but, and uh, yeah, that'll go on there. And I've got the option of two holes as well, because that's just what happens to be in it. I don't know what that's come from. No idea. I don't even know if it's weldable. Have I got a magnet anywhere? Yeah, it's magnetic. I'm gonna give it a go. Ow! It's gone down my leg. Right, so that is horrendously ugly, but it'll do. So what I can do is uh, chop off the excess, mount that on the exhaust, ah! and burn my hand, get soaked. God, it's coming down out there. It's dark, it's wet. It's rubbish, is what it is. There's my ugly bracket, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna chop this excess bit off here because that's just what happened to be on that bit of scrap. And then mount that on the, um, on the What's It Dubry exhaust, that's the one. Uh, and then yeah, and mount it up and see what happens. And I'll probably end up knocking it on the head after that because I've run out of time again. But yeah, looking like it should work. Doesn't look quite straight enough from here. It's meant to be there, but I'll let it off. Call that a great success! Right, well, it's now the next day, again, and in typical British fashion, the weather is completely different to how it was yesterday. Um, the working day's finished. I've just finished the service on a TVR Griffith, and so I'm uh, having one last crack at doing Vecchi's exhaust, because to be honest, I'm done with it now. I think I've been on it three evenings. I just need to get it done. What I've been doing so far, if I can, can I touch it? Yes, I can. So I've welded on, rather ugly actually, but I've welded on this piece here, um, which was a length of the stainless uh, seven, uh, 63 mil tube that I bought. Um, this will go between the original downpipe and the new silencer. That's how much shorter the, uh, the new silencer is compared to the old one. Um, so, and I've also, although it's, excuse the fact that it, it's a bit wobbly, um, I don't know why I haven't done that in a straight line, but that's basically, I'm going along the original weld because it's quite thin in places. So it's not too bad up here, but along here, 
bit thin and it's it's on a bend there and it's a little bit vulnerable so I just want to beef it up a bit. Um, the welds have not gone particularly smoothly. The welder is actually needs the settings redoing on it but um, it's Vecchi so it doesn't matter. You can save pretty welds for professional stuff. Um, so I'm just carrying on where I left off. Chances of getting a nice continuous pretty weld going, very slim. It would probably just blow a hole in it. So doing it in little pulses seems to work. Considering that this weld isn't structural anyway, it's just to beef it up because it's very thin along that line. I think uh, what I need to do is fit the downpipe back on, possibly full time for now. Uh, fit that into the silencer, do the clamp up and everything, get that all set where it's meant to be, and then sort the back end out, because although it's a straight line, you're really like disorientated when you're underneath and you can't figure out what's lined up and what's not. So I'll try doing that. I'm, I'm worried the hanger I've put in, which is actually a TVR Griffith gearbox mount, it turns out, it was in the wrong drawer. So I've used the gearbox mount as an exhaust hanger. And there's a risk that's gonna shear off. I'm not totally convinced that was the right thing for that, but... But yeah, so I'm gonna fit the downpipe, I think. Get that back in, get that done up, and then um, do the rest of the system. As you can see, the tailpipe's hanging quite low at the moment. So, there's the tailpipe there. There's the silencer. And at the moment, that's the back clamp isn't actually done up at all. I think I may have been premature with my welds. Although I did want it to point downhill, which it does. I think this one's okay, which is just as well because there's loads more welds on that one, but I think I might have been a bit, a bit hasty on that one. Right, so I've cut on my welds and now my single exhaust has become multiple pieces of exhaust again. And that feels like progress. In reverse. <laughs> oh, I could actually weld that clamp onto there. Let's have a look back here. That's ideal. Oh, there we go. Try shifting it slightly. Um. Oh dear. I think it's really loud. Uh, yes, I'll go for a quick drive and report back. Um, I'm not feeling positive. I think this might actually be worse than it was. I mean, it's not leaking and it's not rattling. It looks cool as well. I found a way for you to come along. 
which is great. So, I think it's noisier. Oh, I forgot about this seat belt. Alright, let's see how we go. So far it's about the same. If anything at the moment, so far it's quieter. But I am only in second gear. Well, actually this is third gear. Oh, that's loud there. Loud there. Basically it's loud when you put your foot down. Which is unfortunate, because in this, that's most of the time. That most of the time is being a little optimistic. It's all the time. Oh, there's a Civic Boy Racer. Giving it stacks. He's got one of them fake toe eyes. Right. In some ways it's louder, but in other ways it is quieter. Oh, it's loud when you put your foot down. Okay, so low revs, with a bit of load, below 30 mile an hour, loud. I, I don't think it's any worse than it was at all. It's different. I wouldn't say it was better or worse, it's just different. Oh, you can do tunnel runs in it now. I think it's making a lot of noise outside, but the noise is further back. It's not under me. Actually, no, it's better. At 30 mile an hour, it's better. Off the throttle. I mean, I suppose the real test will be when it's on the motorway. Right, so 35 with a bit of throttle load on is not comfortable. We take the throttle load off and it's okay again. Oh, it's a TVR Cerebro. Quite loud at low revs. Putting the window down, seeing what it's like outside. That's quite a noise. Wow. Holy hell, that's. Oh, that's quite a din. Yeah, there's a fair bit of noise pollution outside. Wow. Okay, that's... Uh, I don't know what it's like at high revs. It's any worse at high revs. If anything, it might be slightly better. Which is good for motorways. I need to get some new shock absorbers for this. Jeez, that is quite some racket. turning around to see what's coming and they see this ratty old man 
Oh, part of me thinks leave it on there for a laugh, and the other part of me thinks you can't seriously, seriously have it like this. No, that's ridiculous. Oh, it sounds like an organ. A really deep one. It's that low, it's the low revs. I mean, once you back off, so once you've got it up to speed, it's actually, I'd say it's better than it was. Honestly, I fear I, in fixing one problem, I may have created another problem. It doesn't leak, it doesn't rub, it doesn't rattle. It's great. Except it's horrendously noisy. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if that came off a TVR Griffith, that tailpipe, but what it's fitted to now is louder. <laughs> 